Hey, hey. Paul, how are you? Tommy, nice to see you. Great to see you. Hey, Maddie, how nice are you? Good to see you. Come on in. Oh, boy, the place looks beautiful. I Thank still you. remember being here. How long ago? 14 years. Wow, 14 years ago. Doesn't seem possible. Yeah. Room looks like we were here the other day. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. The paint job, bookcases, yeah. same thing in there. Yeah, we We've didn't... been enjoying it. And the stairway. Boy, I absolutely loved the stairway. It made us fall in love with the house all yeah. those years ago. I can understand why. But you wrote me about a little bit of a problem. Yeah, well, we had a new uh, member of the family. This is Rocky. Rocky's the problem? Yeah, well. He yeah, decided yeah. to use our beautiful staircase as a teething toy. Oh, I see some damage right here. Well, that's not too bad. We can put some filler on that. Big deal is matching the stain to the filler. Well, if that was the only area that he uh -oh. bit, that would be one thing. But right over there in the corner, he did a lot of damage. Ooh, that's and a big on this newel post, three of the four corners he really bit. Oh, yeah. He definitely was hungry. Yes. All right. So, seeing how there's that much damage, I don't want to put filler on all those. Uh, let me look at this profile. Uh, I think we can take them all off, replace them, but I can't match the detail exactly right because that would be making a custom knife, but I have a router bit that I think will come close to that detail and we can stain them up and replace them all. Let's get started. All right. Great. Now they should come off pretty easy. There should just be a finished nail on there. All right, Maddie, so you're gonna help with the staining, right? Yep. Perfect. So I brought a piece of scrap white oak because I remember the staircase was white oak and uh, all the molding that we made in the house. I'm also doing this from memory, uh, not only on the profile for the molding, but for the stain. And I'm thinking a nutmeg stain will work, but if it's too light or too dark, I brought some tinting, some more stain that we could either add lightness to it or darkness to it. So let's start with the one that I'm hoping works. And it's a gel stain. You're going to just apply it with a rag. And I'll apply it to the whole area. Apply it to the whole area. And I would just lay it right on pretty heavy if you yeah. want. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. So now let's put some of this on this end here. This is a little lighter. Okay. See if it does anything. Okay. All right. And dark. We'll do some dark. Okay. Not too much of this one, though. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's dark. Very dark. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think you get that on there and then just take a dryer rag and wipe it off. Okay. Oh, yeah, that definitely darkens it up. Yeah, it looks good, though. It does. I think that looks pretty good. It does. Let's see how you did. Well, oh. what do you think? I, I wasn't thinking in originally that it was lighter, but either the light or the medium, I think the dark is yeah. the dark pretty is, dark. Yeah, the dark is definitely dark, but Although, I mean, we hold on different parts of the wall, yeah. you're gonna get different uh, catch because it's wood and it stains differently. And the old piece that we took off was on the darker side. Yeah, and that's because of the age over the, of the house over time. The, the finish gets, you know, the dirt that's collected from anything and everything over the years. Next thing I want to do is take go outside. I brought some wood. We can cut some profiles and see what you like. All right, so we're ready to start cutting the moldings to replace them. This is a piece of white oak. And I'm going to cut the detail, which is called an OG detail. Mm -hmm. And it's basically an outside curve and an inside curve with a flat transition. That's right. All right, now I have this exact bit in the router table right here. So all I'll do is I'll run this through and see how it looks. That's our detail right there, mm -hmm. and then that'll go up. But I'm looking at it, I'm saying it's a little bit plain, so I might want to put a little detail in right here to separate this wide section, and I'll do that on the table saw. See how that changes the profile? 
All right, so we're gonna sand this up and I'm gonna use some 180 sandpaper in our sander. That should take it down pretty easy. All right, Maddie, the first one sanded. Okay. Ready for you. All right, what now? Okay, so what you're gonna do is I would suggest taking a rag, wiping it on pretty thick. And if you can get it in the crack somehow with the rag, or I don't know if you have anything to push it down there, mm -hmm. but just wipe it in, get it nice and thick, okay. give it a little, that'll give it a little time to settle in, and then just wipe it clean. What if it gets all balled up in there? Well, it, you, we'll be able to get it out. We can, okay. We'll use a stick or a Q-tip or something. Okay, we'll we get, we'll get it out. It, okay. And it doesn't matter if it stays in there anyways, because if you look at the deep lines, the stain gets in there and you can't, you can't wipe it out completely, right. but it also adds to the little detail. Perfect. All right, okay. so you get this started on this. I'll right. go get some more. I can then start cutting the pieces while you are staining. Perfect. Because the blocks are square, I'm gonna do 45 degree miter cuts, but I'm gonna cut the pieces long and then get the exact length later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it in place and I'll just shoot it with a pin nailer to hold it. All right, there you go, last piece of molding is on. I think it looks pretty good, what do you think? Well, that's beautiful, they all blend in yeah. with all the different work work and all the different lighting, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I think Thank Maddie you. did a great job staining and well, matching well, it perfect. Thank you. It, it looks perfect. Question for you to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Yeah. When can I put on the dog repellent spray? Uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't put anything on this now because believe it or not, the stain is still wet and it's off gassing a little bit, so I don't think you should chew that. But I would say that uh, tomorrow or sometime this weekend, if you get a chance, I brought you some wipe on poly, okay? And just put it on like you put it on the stain with a rag. Wait about two to three hours between coats and tomorrow you should be able to get three coats on with no problem. Then wait a couple of days before you spray it for the dog. Will do. All right. All right, so Rocky, you're gonna be a good boy? He promises to be a good boy. Promise, give him dog biscuits, no more oak. Okay, great. All right, guys, I'm gonna pick up my stuff and get out of your hair, and thanks thank for your you help. Thank you so All much. Right, thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.